Hello and welcome to your motorhome for six persons. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough uh, to show you how to operate the systems in the vehicle and I hope that it helps during your travels. Uh, first things first is here in the driver's cabin. Uh, driving this vehicle, uh, the big difference between driving this one and a normal car is of course the size of it and then also uh, you have the handbrake on the left side but not the right side. Uh, for the lights, they are mandatory in Iceland and they are turned on manually with this switch over here. So every time you drive, you have to turn them on and obviously when you're not driving, you turn them off. Uh, the car is diesel and it's, uh, through this latch over here, you open it with your finger and then you use the same key as for the ignition to open up the cap. And just remember to put diesel, not gasoline. Uh, here is the cable for the, the plug for the cable to charge the vehicle on the campsites. Um, and take note that the normal EU plugs inside the vehicle they only work when the cable is connected uh, on the campsite. So the, the plugs inside the motorhome they don't work on the battery. Uh, here is the fun part about driving a motorhome or traveling in a motorhome. It's the toilet cassette, and this you need to empty before you come back. And how to do it is you simply pull up this leverage over here and then you're able to drag the box out. Take it all the way out, take the nozzle here to the side, open it and then you dump it on the designated area. All of the campsites in Iceland they offer you to do this and some of the gas stations. And just uh, remember that you have to, from the inside, you have to open and close uh, I'll show you the handle when we go inside, but uh, the reason why we tell you to open and close is so that you open the box, so that your waste goes into this box. If you don't open it, it never goes in, and when you take this out, they will come all over your hand, and it's not nice. So be careful with that. Uh, on the other side, we have over here, uh, this car has a bunch pads. We have one of the bump pads over here and the other one up here. And the luggage storage is here down below. You have this cable to charge the vehicle on the campsite. And then you have the spare wheel and the tools to change the tire uh, back there. Some of the cars have a spare wheel. The other ones do have a pump and go system. So if you don't have a spare wheel in the back, you have a pump and go system in the driver's cabin. Uh, here is the... This is where you fill up your fresh water. Uh, the tank holds around 90 liters of water and you can always refill this on the campsites. They simply offer you a hose that you stick in the, in the fresh water tank and uh, when it starts spitting out water, it's full. Uh, through here, this is, the, this is where you have your propane tank. And the propane tank we use uh, for heating the vehicle, for heating the water, for the stove and you can also use it for the refrigerator. Uh, you have 10 kilos of propane included in your rental and uh, normally it lasts people four to five days. Uh, if that, if the bo bottle goes empty, you simply take out the bottle, take it inside the next gas station, tell them, hey, I need a new one. They take the old one, give you a full one and you pay for the refill. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Uh, so you just disconnect these guys here. And you can see here on the top of the tank, you have uh, the pipe comes here and connects to the propane bottle. And if you are going to exchange it, you have to screw the screw top all the way to, to close. And then you can unscrew the pipe from the tank over here. Uh, but if you are going to operate the heating system uh, for the car or the water or for the stove or use it for the refrigerator, you have to remember to open the gas bottle. If you don't open it, nothing will work on the inside. The way to open it is you have the screw top and you see there is an arrow that points to the open direction and you simply screw it all the way to open and then you can operate the systems on the inside. Simple as that. And, and, and again, this usually lasts people four to five days during the travels. So keep an eye on the, on the level of it. Here is the door to the housing area and the first thing I want to show you here is because it's a it's a high vehicle as you can see it's above knee and everything 
So we have this uh, electrical step and you can take that down with this button over here. So as you can see, I can pull it up. I can take it down with the button. And just remember that you have to take it up before you drive. Be careful with that. So let's have a look inside. All right, uh, the first thing I want to show you is the control panel over here. You have three buttons. First button over here, this is simply on and off. So pressing upwards is on, downwards is off. Uh, this light over here, this is for the, for the cable. So when the cable is plugged in, uh, this light should light up. This uh, light above the, the symbol over there. Uh, then you have uh, here, you have for the batteries, if you press upwards, you see the status on battery number one, it's full because it's going to the top. And the battery number two, it's also full. So this one indicates full, half full and empty. Next to this, you have uh, the water. Upwards is the fresh water and downwards is the wastewater. That's basically the gray water, which is the wastewater from the sink and the shower. So this is pretty straightforward. Uh, Next thing I want to show you is here in the kitchen, uh, you have the, the sink and the faucet over here. And you just have to turn on the electricity on the control panel for this to work. Uh, next to that is the stove. And this stove uh, needs the propane bottle to be opened if you are going to operate it. And the way to operate it is you simply press down the bottle uh, button here until you hear the rustle. And then you can ignite it with the lighter that is provided in your kitchen set. Then of course storage for your things. Uh, here is the refrigerator, and this can be made cold on three sources. You can make it cold with uh, the propane, uh, and then of course you have to have the bottle open. You can make it cold with the battery while the car is running, and you can make it cold with the cable when the car is plugged in. So it's pretty simple. I turn it on with a black button over here. I hold it down until you see the lights come on over here. So if you see like this, everything comes on. And right now it's on the cable function on level five and it is blinking because it's not working. Uh, the reason why it's not working right now is because the car is not plugged in through the cable. That's why it blinks. If I want to change the source, I have to hold down this gray button over here until you see only the source blink, not the level as well. So I hold it in and you can see it changes in a bit like that. Now it's only blinking here and I can use the arrows to go over to, to battery, the battery or uh, the propane. So the, the, the flame symbol is the propane. This is the battery and this is the plug-in. Let's say I want to have it on, on propane function. I have to confirm it by pressing the gray button once like that. Then it asks me, asks me for the level of it. I want it cold, uh, so I have it in maximum five. I confirm it, and now it's steady. And uh, in a minute, if everything's working, this light, uh, this screen turns off, and there is a, a green light on this black button to indicate that the refrigerator is running and working. Like you see now, everything's off, but the light's on over here. So that's pretty straightforward. Uh, here you have the, the dining area and a double bed here above the driver's cabin. And on here is the heating control. And the heating control has two circles. It has the outer circle with the gray slashes in it. And then the inner circle, the black one over here. Uh, the outer circle with the gray slashes on controls the level of the speed, uh, fan speed from one to five. Uh, the inner circle controls what I'm doing. So there is a small leverage here to show, to show where you are. And if I go downwards once to the flame symbol, that means that I'm heating the car on the inside. And of course, everything that you do here needs the propane bottle to be open. Okay, I'm heating the car on the inside on level five, two times down, I'm heating the car on the inside and I'm also heating the water to 60 degrees. Then if I go back to the, the zero, that means off. And if I go upwards to 40 or 60, that means I'm only heating the water 
to either 40 degrees or 60 degrees and on level 5 and I can lower that if I want just how you like so yeah the double bed is over there the kitchen area is over here you have two bunk beds in the back and if you have reserved any bed linens we will put them on your beds uh, through this door here is the toilet and the toilet works like a normal toilet the only big difference is that you have the, the handle to open and close the toilet box and this handle is here you see this one and you have to open it before you use it and then close it when you're done this is so that your waste goes into the toilet cassette that i showed you before uh, so if i am going to the toilet i i open the toilet like this and then i open the cassette like that i do what i want to do close this flush it with the blue button over there and then i close it again easy as that you of course have a shower here as well um, and you have to heat up the water with the heating control that i showed you just a minute ago and a sink as well and some storage so i hope uh, that the video helps and i hope that your travels in iceland will be nice and travel safe if something comes up you can always give us a call and we can advise you thank you